Ramble. Thank you to Priceline and Factor for sponsoring today's episode. Welcome to the tripod, everybody. Keith has to get gas this morning. And Keith, are we going to the same place we went before? That's right. We're going to go back to the same place. So we're going to have Rainy go in and let yeah. us know if it still smells good. If you remember from several plugs back when we went to the gas station for me to get gas and for Zach to get air in his tire, we found out that this gas station <laughs> smells good. Yeah. And Rainy hasn't experienced it. So we're going to send Rainy in. And, and I want to know, because I'm a little concerned that it's actually an artificial smell. Oh, are you concerned? That's it's gonna be obviously like an artificial smell. What do you think it would oh. How would it be a natural smell? I don't know. I thought it was maybe a floral, s- expensive soap. You haven't smelled it. Is it an air freshener? <laughs> but when you say <laughs> nice smell, my mind immediately goes, okay, so it's going to smell like a candle. And I'm wondering, is it a Yankee? Right. It's kind of like perfumed, but but not overwhelming perfume. You know, it's You're like You're going to like the way you smell, I guarantee and it. Randy, I'd like you to buy something that you've never seen before. Ooh, oh, of course, oh my on the company, gosh. for the company. Yes, on the company, for the company, <laughs> by the company, with this the company. This is feeling like a little summer camp scavenger hunt. You have a hunch. budget limit. One single item can't be more than three thousand okay. dollars. No way! Wow. <laughs> That's a great limit. <laughs> okay, be careful with the limit. <laughs> Rainy comes out with a beer sign. Wow, There's a big <laughs> limit. A big neon sign. Uh, now this is not what we're doing today, but I do have a pitch for a future plug. Hit me, baby. Because uh, we just drove by one. What if we all get the cheapest haircuts we could find? That is such I a bad idea. I think that's really good. I, I love just it. Got You're a just nervy. Okay, no, it's a good idea for the plug. I'm just nervous about it. It would be a bad idea for me personally. Have you ever gone to one of those <laughs> sport clips? Apparently, Keith, great clips or sport clips, they the way they keep it so cheap is they cut the hair from the bottom. What does that mean? What? So they don't cut the hair <laughs> on the do top of your head. Like let's say let's they cut say, it from the bottom. Let's and say that your hair saves the like, money for somebody like Rainy. They're not cutting the top of the hairs on her head. What's the they're, top and what's the bottom? Oh, they're not doing layers. They're, they're just doing, doing straight across. They're just like, okay, the hair is literally like, it goes over your head. They're just going to cut it like here. They cut it, but they're not going to go on the top and be like, well, his hair looks shorter because the sides are shorter. Uh, so something that I could do. Yeah, probably. I remember that Sport Clips is one of those that kind of advertises itself like it's going to be a Hooters. <laughs> like all the billboards of them are yeah. like like hot girls in little referee outfits with like short shorts. Yeah. When you go in, it's a very normal clientele of a salon, Absolutely. but they are still dressed that same way. And one of the things is like it comes with a massage, but it's just one of those massage things they put on their hand and like it, it's like a, oh those are fantastic, which is fantastic. But I do think the advertising of like come in and get yourself a haircut and a little and a massage. massage. I don't want them to touch. That's me what ever. it that that is like the sell of it. That's kind of funny. Isn't that wild? We should go to a sports. <laughs> do they, I don't know if they still weird... exist. Yeah, the, I mean I, they must right. The haircuts hair's got to get cut all over the country. As you're saying that, I don't think I've ever Amen. been to a Hooters. <laughs> I've been to Hooters several times. I used to go to the Hooters that was in Santa Monica because they had <laughs> great <laughs> wings. And that would go after my Mission Improbable show because it was the Eat only restaurant everything open. at Hooters. Have you done that? No, but I did. we did go to Hooters on the wing, wing down, Chris Reinecker and I, whatever our dumb chicken watch yeah. episode was for wings. And their wings were like second or third best out of the whole... Wow. Prop. They actually oh. were excellent wings. That's interesting. You eat them in you Hooters. I mean, that is a tightrope. <laughs> that is a tightrope. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think that it's good to actually judge the food by itself. That's true. You're not in the ambiance. Remove the atmosphere. I think Keith should still be, though. Should I a, dress like I a Hooters? I think you should wear a little bikini. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You didn't they like don't that? wear bikinis in the store. They yeah, wear they little do? no. They wear little cut like crop tops and short shorts. Oh, that's they right. wear bikinis in the calendar. Miles, I know a lot about. I sorry, <laughs> I don't have the calendar. And you're right. They are wearing like a tube top. But to oh, me, really? You expect me? Expect us to believe you just know the date on your own? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my okay. calendar. Liar. <laughs> I do remember when I was a young boy and I was about 12 years old, we were in Las Vegas and me and my friend Neil went into the Hooters Casino oh and got nervous. Did you know what you were going into? <laughs> yeah, we had heard of Hooters before, but we didn't really know Hooters what to do. Child. <laughs> my parents obviously did not take me to Hooters. The first Hooters I went to was in college. Yeah, we. It's a li- when you go, you're a little bit, I mean, it depends on where you're going. If you're going in rural North Carolina, you, it's a little bit sadder than you think it's going to be. <laughs> Actually, I, uh, well, I would say that the South, they flourish. It's, I think yeah. the South embraces 
everyone there is embracing it a little bit more than other places. No, it's not the people. It's not the people who work there. It's the other people at the Hooters. Oh no, oh. lunch oh. lunchtime at Hooters is really upsetting. Yeah, no, it's like go at lunchtime part. and look at the bar, and you be like, mm. like an ancient man Yuck. that should have died twenty Yuck. years Yuck. ago. Yuck. 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 I think it's time for us to, you know. Make the inverse restaurant. Do something, a little something for the ladies. A restaurant Logs. called Bulgies. Well, so you're not, not really doing an owl pun. Log hogs. <laughs> log hogs. Ooh, hogs. Hogs. No, no, I hogs. Say, no, I and it's like... a hot dog restaurant. All the waiters are wearing sweatpants. Uh-huh. I feel like you guys think Hooters is called melon. <laughs> <laughs> Hooters is an owl pun. With the hogs. Hogs is hogs. good. That's what I'm saying. I-, I agree. Logs is all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hogs and logs sounds pretty good. Logs is good. Hogs. Welcome to hogs. And so they're wearing what? Gray sweatpants? Gray sweatpants. Gray sweatpants <laughs> and a a white <laughs> sort of like dingy like uh tank top. That's, that's a little w- that's a little wet. <laughs> that's a little bit wet with grease. I'm picturing that they all are just dressed like <laughs> occupations. They're sort of like, oh, Jiffy Lou. Like it's sort of like oh. the village people. Yeah, it's, no, I love that, Keith. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of hot men in their work uniform. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they're giving you something special. Oh, my, I got the construction worker. A little male nurse. Oh, I got the firefighter. Hey, oh. I'm about to uh, go to space, but first, can I take your order? <laughs> <laughs> it's Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> In a low cut shirt. Okay, I'm gonna get gas. All right, yeah, Keith's yeah, gonna yeah, get gotta gas. Get Keith, go I'll hand you. Floor. I'm gonna take this microphone and I'll hand you mine through the window. Did you know, Zach? Um, yeah, tell me that it only takes about a little bit of time uh, to to make a hot car very very hot. You and wanna do a video called "Last to Leave the Hot Car"? <laughs> that dies video of heat stroke. That video ends with us dying. That you couldn't roll the window down, so I I'm just gonna. Realize, I'm yeah, just gonna. <laughs> So, uh, Miles. Yeah, what's up, Zach? Just, you just you and me in the car now. Hey, man. I know. How's, uh, how's, how's, how's the missus? I feel like you're, you're doing, like, we chat one on one, like, kind of a lot, but I feel like you're acting like we've never spoken one on one before. So, Zach's uh, sort of getting a little bit weird in the car. So, uh, Would you, you think it any... was the hogs and logs <laughs> conversation, or is it unrelated? So, I think yeah. it's unrelated, but he's going through something. What's up, Zach? I think so, I'm hey, Chief, you got things. any, uh, hobbies? Do I have any hobbies? By we, the way, we have tons of hobbies. Big update for me Whoa. is um, I've been reinvigorating my love for my plants. Oh, you're back this into plants. Huge. Psycho, how long do you think it's going to last? I don't know. But here's the thing. So I had this thing called like an arrow garden, and it's like a little thing. It's got a light. It's like essentially a grow light, like a grow light, mm. and it's got circulating water and stuff. You put these little pods, and you buy from the arrow garden thing. Uh-uh. And? and basically- you can grow basil, you can grow whatever the fuck you want, parsley. But what I did was I propagated a pothos, and then I put a bunch of pothos through the little holes, and then I'm going to put that in my like workspace because there's no real windows in there, so that way I can have a plant in a dark space. Mm-hmm. And that and dark spaces are good for plants. Well, they aren't, but because I've got the grow light <laughs> right, you've got thing, the light. You've got a, you got a faux I've got sun. I've got a fake sun. Fake I literally sun. DIY and a sun. real sun. DIY Ooh, sun and a real I've sun. I've got the light. I've got the light. Uh, I think that oh, I'm a plant. So Zach is nope. singing in the front. Sorry, yes. Yeah, so the the audio is going to not more say sorry. You guys are talking yeah. over my new hit song. I've got the light. Yeah, there's no way this is going to cut well together. But so, it's possible singing. you could just turn his mic down. <laughs> or you know, maybe it's possible you guys mute <laughs> you your can kind of mic fade it back and forth. Actually, what if we could make this a little choose your own listen adventure? Maybe the, for the people want to hear my Florence and the Machine inspired. What Whoa. have we got? Whoa! What is that? Rainy is back with what? What? Something I've never seen ha- before. I've never. What the hell is that? Franzaluda? <laughs> Show that to the camera. This <laughs> is really fascinating. What the fuck is this? Okay, what no, I am wait, looking wait, 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 at... Real quick, real quick. How did it smell? It's out of order. What wait, do you mean what it's you mean out of order? The smell? <laughs> wait, that didn't have, that didn't apply. <laughs> the smell is out of order? <laughs> the, <laughs> the bathroom. The bathroom. Keith said the whole place smelled good. Right? He didn't even smell it. Oh go, my gosh. You didn't smell? Should I go back in? Go back in and you smell. you walk in, you didn't smell take, it? Go back in and take a whiff, Rainy. Oh. <laughs> okay, meanwhile, while Rainy's out, she brought us Franzaletta. I don't know what these are. They look like little little logs. It's in a clear bag with red and white font. It's Product a pr- of Moldova, Moldova which I thought was just a little Christmas town for Netflix movies. Yeah. Product of Moldova. Why would this regular-ass shell station... Be serving Moldovan, Moldovan goods. These are gingerbread cookies with cranberry flavor. 
Oh, interesting. Cran- you don't get you don't see a lot of cran flavor going on, honestly. I when these came in, I didn't think these were cookies. They look like it looks like someone took a loaf of bread and shrunk it down with a honey I shrunk the kids ray. It looks like some sort of weird Moldovan nut. What is what's Moldova? The country. I've never heard of it. <laughs> I've barely heard of it. Never Until heard. recently. I'm and I mean co- this garb strip. I'm, I'm I'm ignorant. <laughs> I'm I've cultured, so I've heard of, of it, so I un- but I understand how you haven't. Yeah, I understand that too. Well, Rainy has to talk about the smell. It does smell like a nice, like they've got a good cleaning system. I, you're really underselling how special it is in there. It wasn't, <laughs> um, it wasn't overwhelming, <laughs> for sure. These are a lot harder than I expected. Yeah, they, oh, can I get scale okay, as we gotta, fuck? Here we go. They're, well, they're, oh. cheap. they're gingerbread, yeah, they're but smoke. then they're thick as hell. The Imagine the cranberry flavor. You learn something new every day. By the way, world, the world is so magical. We just like unlocked a new inventory. Holy item. shit, guys! Smell it. <laughs> it oh, smel- it's it's intense. It, smell it good. smells like no. You like it? It smells like Christmas. Yeah, it no, smells it like a, a, a Christmas bar of soap. It does. It smells like something you'd like get, like a bar of soap. You'd be like, I'm gonna not use this. Am yeah. I crazy <laughs> that this smells so intense? Mine doesn't smell that oh. intense. It I think it hits the, the back light. of your throat. It kind of oh, yeah. Zach smells a little more fragrant than mine. I've got the light. Ooh, I've got the light. I'm just smelling your hands, man. Right. Let's all take a bite. Three, two, one. I take oh. a bite. Oh my god! After when you get into it, mm. it was soft. I kind of like it. <laughs> I feel like it'd be good with coffee. It's one of the best Moldovan treats I've ever had. You know what? It's kind of like it's like a biscotti, but um, oh. soft. I like the texture a lot. Keith eats everything from Moldova. <laughs> hey, Moldova, call me up. Ooh. I'll head over. You know what the aftertaste is? It's sort of like pine cone or raisin. Mm. You know what? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I fuck with this. It's, My favorite snack? Probably the Moldovan. It's a unique <laughs> Zanuki. It's What's definitely it a unique <laughs> witness. I don't know. <laughs> a Zanuki. The Franzaluda. They're back there. Oh man, my favorite snack's probably a Franzaluda. Uh-huh. Somebody trying to seem cool at a bookstore. Guys, there's a <laughs> there's a there's a cigar shop across the street from our gas station. And it says humidified. Podcast at the cigar lounge. No. <laughs> <laughs> my uh one of my buddies is a big cigar connoisseur, which I find uh, revolting. Uh nothing against people who smoke cigars, except I think you're gross. Okay, um, you hold this again for me, cookie man. And he uh <laughs> Jeremy Piven will regularly hang out oh, God. at his cigar lounge. Bad company. <laughs> and Jeremy Piven has his own line of cigars, and he uh, he really encourages people to, to buy them, from what I understand. Yeah. I kind of hang out at my local hot sauce shop. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really funny. I encourage was like, hey, have you tried this one yet? Wow, this guy has got to look just like me. Crazy. <laughs> anyway, what do you think of it? There's How many no, bottles will you buy? There's Other a hot sauce hotel. lounges. I guess um, they're called restaurants. Never mind. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, there's an. Oh my gosh! Should we go to a personal injury lawyer? So we haven't talked about what this episode's going to be. Gonna ignore that question. Okay. Sorry, Zach. Hey, let's talk about it. Yeah, we can go, Zach. All right, let me move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Zach. We're gonna strike through that option. Yeah, I think your mind with the Hooters talk has been in the gutter. That's right. It's gonna take two balls to tango. What is what, what going is, is, on? Is, we're going is, bowling next episode. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, we're not doing that this episode. We're going next bowling. Week we're going, next week, everybody, put it on your fucking calendars. Next week, <laughs> we're going bowling. And you better believe the Moldovan cookies are coming I'm with coming us. Well, that's, we're going to give them to everybody who we talked to in that episode. So you'll get a full experience. But today's episode, we're not going bowling. In fact, we're going to strike through that and get your minds out of the gutter. Because it's time to try a treat by an artisan's feet. Wow. <laughs> that was like, poetry. That was slam. Like Keith was possessed by an infomercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, Keith. We're going to be munching on some Franz Luton cookies when we- <laughs> <laughs> While we're going to Starbucks and asking, what's the most imaginative drink you could possibly make? And, and then, can you make me a drink with the signature flavors of Moldova? Oh, that's interesting. Cran. I think that's a great idea. I'm really curious to see what they, uh, what resources they pull. If it's Google or if it's from their mind. I have a big feeling they're going to be like, I don't know what that is. Do you want a black coffee? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of do want a black coffee with a Madova. I don't think anything else. I, it's so sweet and aromatic that I don't want any other flavor. It does to me. To me, it smells like fall. I just think that you're overlooking the artificial angle of this whole treat. 
Oh, I think that you couldn't be more wrong. This is made with all natural ingredients. <laughs> When it comes to travel, we all have a happy place. I like traveling to Texas. I like seeing my family there. My brother's there. I like going on vacations. I like being on the beach, splishy splashing in the water. And Priceline, it wants to get us to our happy place, to help us travel to our happy place for a happy price this summer with deals that you can't miss. Priceline can save you up to 60% on select hotels, 50% off of flights, and 40% off car rentals. Plus, they have an amazing bundle and save feature. I have definitely bundled getting a car right after booking a flight for a Luberger tour. Saved us some money. It was actually awesome. It was not a vacation, but it made it feel like a vacation, you know? We were there for work, but by getting some discounts and getting a sick ride, we felt good and we looked good doing it. See why millions of people trust Priceline with getting them to their happy price. Visit Priceline.com slash the tripod to go to your happy price this summer. What if there was a better way to eat? Factor is America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, a great way to prepare for the busy fall season right around the corner. I was using it this week. I had the fusilli and ground pork tomato ragu. I love that. And I also love that the whole idea of having like a, a ragu or something means you have to spend 12 hours letting it simmer. And I didn't have to do that because somebody else did that. And they packed it up for me. It was excellent. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready to enjoy in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy and then get back to crushing your goals. Choose from over 34 plus weekly flavor packed dietitian approved meals. Treat yourself to upscale meals with gourmet plus options featuring ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. And if you need an extra boost to support your wellness goals and feel your best this summer, try protein plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. So head to factormeals.com slash tryguys50 and use code tryguys50 to get 50% off. That's code tryguys50 at factormeals.com slash tryguys50 to get 50% off. But um, so essentially, gang, we're going to be p- pitting um, two Starbucks head-to-head candy competition style. Am I right, Zach? Sorry, Zach, you didn't say anything. Hey, yo. Uh, oh. All right. Candy competition style, <laughs> which means Miles needs to change his clothes. Oh, no. <laughs> Big line. Honestly, the biggest line we've encountered at Starbucks. This is way too long. Should we go in? <laughs> well, we could no, go to this No, we need next. the time to wax. Oh. Poetic. And if we go in, we might cause big, a bigger scene. That's well. I feel like if uh, anyone who listens to the Try Try Pod Pod from last week is going to be like, "Whoa, what, what's going to happen?" Because we had a very wild encounter on the Try Try Pod Pod really, here. Did, did last. everyone else finish their cookie? I did. I, I loved ate it. the whole thing. I didn't love it. <laughs> it was sort of really like, like a way either. to get rid of it. You know yeah. what it reminds me of? Mm. <laughs> it reminds me of um, an Italian cookie. Oh, I know what you're talking about—the licorice ones. Yeah. Oh, it mm-hmm. has like a licorice flavor. Uh, no, in I don't it. think it's the texture that's the same. Mm. It tastes like a cookie that I picked up at a party and I started eating and decided I didn't like it. And my parents made me finish it because yeah. it'd be rude to throw it away. Mm. It'd be rude to put mm. it exactly. back on the plate. <laughs> yeah. We need to start a list of all of our banger ideas because I would also like to go get our nails did. Okay, that's a really good question. <sighs> exactly. And by the way, the list exists. Pimp nail bar. Uh, you know what? Another idea that I do want to do. What I'm, I'm staring at. It's called Pimp Nail Bar. Pimp and I'm nail like, bar. yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Get our nails did. And then. And maybe a little petty a- action. <laughs> podcast at the pedicurist. Podcast at the manicurist. <laughs> podcast at the haircut. You know, why isn't there a like Hooters esque <laughs> nail salon? <laughs> we we got to cut to an ad. <laughs> You think that would well, sort of no, no, bring no, no. in hear the me out, hear me out. With, with guys in sweatpants. Yes. I think there should be one tailored for people with an attraction to sexy men <laughs> and one with the people attracted to sexy women. You Welcome know, like to that. Hog's Nail Bar. Yeah. These people are so confused. He, yeah. Oh, hey. Oh. Or he said, he recognizes he likes you. me. He likes you. He or, smiled. Or he, just, <laughs> <laughs> he smiled at you and he gave you the most he warm was, thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> just charming should guy. Should we go offer him... A Moldovan treat? <laughs> you want a Moldovan <laughs> what? Cookie? Hey! Oh, hi. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh sorry. You got, wait, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> roll, your, roll your fucking <laughs> window up. That was so embarrassing. Zach that was so fucking embarrassing. I talked to two sweet <laughs> oh ladies gosh. who were just trying to enjoy their day with numerous bags. They have a coffee. <laughs> they, they have three toasts. They have a them, lot of bags. I, I rolled down it. the window to yell after that guy. And as I went, ha! 
I hey. caught it in my throat because two uh. sweet women walked by my window. Very and sweet they ladies. They looked at me and they smiled and then I went to talk again, but all I could muster was, ah. Oh my God. No embarrassed. <laughs> I was going to ask them if they wanted a cookie and then I went, No, no, no. Don't offer them a cookie. Don't offer. Don't in a strange vehicle roll down your window and say, Do you want a cookie? You want a Moldovan treat? You want a Moldovan treat? I mean, we got to really learn a little bit about Moldova. <laughs> Conceit of today's episode is that we're going to one Starbucks and a barista is going to make us a creative drink, and then we're going to go to another Starbucks and the, that barista is going to make us more creative drink, and we're going to decide who's better. This is a video idea that somebody else did on YouTube, and we thought it was great, so we're doing it too. Was it Ryan? Trey Trey Han. Han. That guy is cool. I, I got a big crush on him. He's cute. I got a, bus- a professional crush. Like a, a business crush. I just oh. think he is <laughs> he's creative and yeah. whimsical mm. and committed to his dumb ideas yeah. and he makes his dumb ideas very smart. Actually a, cr- a professional crush is interesting. Zach, who's yours? Mm. Mm. I've certainly got a couple, but I want to answer this well, so I'm going to ruminate on it for okay. the oh. entire episode. <laughs> and then at the end we'll reveal. We'll it's reveal Zach's professional crush. That's pest control. For me, it's got to be the CEO of Pfizer. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah? Big Pharma couldn't be better these days. I'm just kidding. Okay, what about a pharmaceutical company that's kind of like a Hooters? (laughs) (laughs) I'm liking that. Or like a CVS, but everybody that works there is super hot and dressed (laughs) sexy (laughs) as hell. You think everyone should be bussed out? (laughs) Yeah, I think... I just don't know why we think that only should apply to my dinner. That's a good idea. Why isn't it part of everything? Why isn't there an ice cream shop? Interesting, by the way. I've always considered Hooters more of a lunch spot. (laughs) It's a family restaurant. So they I say. just, for whatever reason, you say Hooters for dinner, and I go, huh? Yeah, huh. That's, that's Are a, they even open for dinner? I <laughs> think it's good for a 3 p.m. Sunday football gum. Yeah. Uh, game? That's yeah. probably. Yeah. <laughs> sort of saying it with a Miles accent. I love it. Gum. <laughs> gum. Yeah. I mean, there's something really lovely about a big sloppy bowl of wings. I'll say that. <laughs> I love wings. I love them. I haven't eaten them in a bit. You like boneless? No. Oh. Those no, aren't can wings. we talk about that? I'm confused about why people are out against boneless because boneless are technically tenders. Because I ain't no chump. They're chunks of chicken, and I want, when I'm getting a wing, I want the bone flavor, and I want the <laughs> for, sort of fun of all the bones. What's and a, What's a bone flavor? Bone flavor, like bone broth versus normal broth. <laughs> it just like the oh. meat is better. Interesting. It's like. More tender. I also think it's fun to be able to keep track of how much you've eaten. That's interesting. By your little graveyard. I like the graveyard of bones. That part is fun for me, but I think I'm too dumb to understand the difference between the flavors <laughs> of chicken. It's really the texture. Oh, the texture. I mean, and really. it, flavor as well. I just find that it's very hard, or rather, it's very common to have dry, boneless chicken mm. ten- wings, t- oh. tenders, whatever they are. Yeah. Whereas, like the bone in, I think there's more quality control. I think people who are making bone in, they care more. You think they care more? I think they care more. I just oh, those people are walking by again. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. No, no, it's not. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> what, the, what should I say? No, it's actually literally. What should I say? Literally, what should I say? This They're is crazy. walking. I rolled this the window so down. He's on the wind. It's, it's creepy. Long. It's crazy. He's, He's the, also on the phone. By the way, it's they're going to the PMP nail bar. Which really looks like pimp. Uh-oh. It looks close. They're just pulling off. It's just getting in the shape. peeling off. Don't stop You're, staring at this guy. Oh you you got to stop staring at this guy. I think it's okay to stare at him. I'm staring past him to see if I catch his eyes. And. Um, get the treats ready. We, get, we get the treats what, if, what if we just shake it and we have say, a <laughs> We do have a... Brandy did get 1.1 <laughs> pounds what if we say, of... <laughs> what if we just <laughs> give a little... <laughs> Brandy got <laughs> Franz Aluda, founded in 1947. And what by the way, that was $3. We could just... three. Do- <laughs> you had a $3,000 budget. I mean... But I think you chose correctly. I think I think Brandy did an excellent job. I've never seen those before. $3 for a pound? <laughs> They're fucking like it's. All like right, guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh I'm gonna do it. No, this I'm gonna is do crazy. It. This is literally. I'm, like, I'm gonna no. say. Yeah, do you, yeah, no, right. Yeah, do it. I think. Oh, so. we're actually moving forward. You, uh-huh. There's no time. There's no time. Do you guys want a cookie? Do you want a? Oh my god. No, you okay. you want a cookie? No. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. They're have from Moldova. Hope you have a good day. Roll your window up. Roll hey, your bye. fucking. <laughs> well, we're gonna be parked here for oh a minute. My god. I thought. By the way, my windows are tinted, right, Keith? No, but you can put your tent up. Oh, you, Keith, you actually, you can control his window, and you can roll his window down. (laughs) That's true. Do it. (laughs) Don't roll my fucking window. No, goddammit. 
I put my dent up, but I didn't realize it wasn't it. So he saw me <laughs> put my dent up. <laughs> he saw me struggle to avoid eye contact and put my dent up. Oh my god! Now he's just look. He's just like, what the fuck that just is happened? Worst case he, scenario. I think he thought he probably thinks we're pranksters. And his cool girlfriend in an all pink outfit is like, uh. <laughs> All right, Keith, Wait, I we hope have you have your speech do memorized, please. I'm ready, yeah. We're ready Here we to fucking go. Here. Here we fucking go. Okay, Keith, I'll mic you, you mic them. Okay. Hi, I'm Keith, and also Zach, Miles, and Rainey are here. Hey, what's up? We're How's it going, Keith? Good. How's it going, Zach? We're back. Um, we Welcome have, back. Thank you. We have a special request today. Um, we want you just to make us something really creative, like what the most creative thing you think you could make us um, at whatever size you think is the most creative. Don't worry about cost. Go nuts. <laughs> Absolutely buck wild. And, and we'll take it. And Oh, and four straws. And also a grande uh, uh, oh my God. chai oh my oat God. latte. Zach Ice. is fucking disgracing the idea of the video. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so embarrassing. Gotcha. And, and are, are you allowed to accept gifts? Um, I would say no. Okay. Uh, the gift is a cookie. <laughs> what if it's a cookie that's not individually wrapped? Uh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can decide at the window. We'll How about see you that? in a second. Oh, my God. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see I if agree. I can get the treat. I agree. We'll see. We'll make it a little surprise. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and then I'm so sorry. You said you want something extra, extra special. Special, whatever size. Yeah, cr um, creative. Creative. <laughs> Emphasis on creative. Gotcha. Artistic. Gotcha. Artisanal. You know, art Instagram worthy. Oh yeah. TikTok worthy. Just like <laughs> something that's never. Oh, honestly, something you've never made before. Miles says he wants you to rock his world. I didn't. Say, I didn't say that. I don't that. know if Miles is ready. I don't know He's if Miles is ready. Absolutely not. Especially <laughs> after the Moldovan okay. case. No, <laughs> it sounds like. All right. You got it, you got it. And then three okay. of them? Three? Miles three says he wants you to rock him like a hurricane. No on. way. Okay. Okay, spoiler alert. That's it. Exactly. All right, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, yeah. we'll see you at the window. We'll see you at the window. And then also some egg bites. That we went said that. <laughs> no. well. That went pretty well, but Zach, I think you're a coward for getting a chai. <laughs> I think. Yeah, get the Moldovan that... treats up here. I got to at least show, I like, got to talk about it. <laughs> And you accept gifts? Sounded like you're about to like pay for their college. <laughs> can I? Can I? We're like Mr. Beach. She's like, you're gonna give me a million dollars? No. I'm gonna no. give you. I'm gonna give you a cookie that's less than a penny because we paid three dollars for a pound of them. I think they're probably like seven cents, maybe four four cents each. Yeah. Hard to say how many were in here. God, the aftertaste is fucking. Still here, I'm ready brutal. for a drink to really last. Yeah. Last to take their hands off the Tesla wins a little Moldovan treat. <laughs> Bad reward. Did you see the idea I sent you last night? You didn't yeah, respond. Yeah, it was real stupid. <laughs> it was 600 people eat a pupusa at the same time and talk directly into a camera at the same time in a field. That's a great idea. 600? 600. But you shoot it like it's Mr. Beast, like it's a really great idea. 600 like, people. Today we've got 600 people out in this field, and they're all going to eat a pupusa, and they're all going to talk into a camera. Here we go. That's a great and idea. And then it just all at once, 600 so people funny. talking into 600 little screens. This is a real text message that I got. He's pretty far from the window. I am too far. Hi. Oh, God, I, what am I thinking? I'm too far from the window, huh? You're gonna have to get out. No one, uh, no one, <laughs> no one <laughs> responded to you. They walked to away. Hello, good. How are you doing? Pretty good. I have a question. Do you know where Moldova is? Mol Moldova. Moldova. It's a country. a country. We got cookies from Moldova. I have no clue. Do you want a Moldovan cookie? I'll try one. Try one. All right. Awesome. They're okay. like cranberry gingerbread. If in case you're allergic, I don't want to feed you something you're allergic to. It's actually really good. Yeah! 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 Maybe with like a cup of coffee? Honestly, with coffee, I think it'd be a lot better. It's it's definitely got an interesting aftertaste, so I apologize for that <laughs> in advance. I'm waiting on it. It's not bad. It's all about expectations. Oh, I gotta pay for this. You guys, yeah, you gotta pay. Excuse you guys yeah. were like, oh, this is a, a poo poo cookie. And then Jasmine over here is like, wow, adventure and whimsy is coming into my life. I love it. <coughs> no, I that part, it. yeah. No, I'm, I'm loving that, Zach. What I didn't love was you screaming at a <laughs> as at a man. Now, we are going to compare your creative <laughs> drink to another Starbucks. I'm sure you've already thought about this. So, um, do you think 
you know, do you have any messages you'd like to send to the, the Starbucks that we go to? Would to you like competitor. to say anything to them? I don't know. <laughs> That'd be nice, you know? <laughs> I think that's the best thing. I'll, I'll wish them well from you. Yeah. Is this our treat? This is your treat. Yes. What is it? It's a Frappuccino. Oh, I can smell it. With a shot. Mocha cookie crumble. Try it. Try it. Oh, we're ready. We're ready. Can we get two more straws? It's a mystery drink. Can we get two more straws? Absolutely. Thank you. I'm going to tell you, this drink will absolutely wreck my insides. Got to make sure it's solid. There's cookies in it. There's cookies in it. There's cookies in it? There's cookies in Can it. Can I just add cookies to anything? Like, could I yeah. get, like, an, a chai latte with cookies? Oh, that's good. I mean, you could. Does it also? I don't know how that would be, though. Once. Does it also <laughs> Does it also have coffee grounds in it? Not coffee grounds. It has uh, cookie crumbles. What kind of cookie? And Java chips. The Java chips are to die for. Yeah. Coffee grounds. Coffee grounds? Is that horrible? Is that? Can There's a lot of cookies. We gotta go. Do you not like it? You're solid, you yeah. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Hold on the line. Thank you. Don't want to hold up the line. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay, well, that's fucking fire as fuck. Okay, big review time. I don't like it. Oh. Keith doesn't like it. I and don't like the Java chips. It's just eating coffee grounds. It does a little bit. You know, you, you know. I get what you're saying. They taste a little bit like coffee grounds. It tastes like coffee grounds, which that's what Java chips must be. I'm going to need another suck, I think. Suck on in. I thought you'd never ask. Now, let me let me just help you get a little suck right quick. Did you? Um, oh my god! Did you get a suck, Keith? Uh, Zach? I I didn't suck because coward. I'm a coward. Because you did, don't want to shit your pants. I can't believe they tried the Moldovan treat. <coughs> Honestly, <laughs> I'm like mm. this is zinging me up because mm. it's just a good texture. It's got a good milkshake texture. I will say the Mo the the Moldovan chips that are in there <laughs> are not to die for. I thought they were initially, but I... Oh, you don't uh, like the Java chips? I lied to her. I think that they actually <laughs> impede the beverage. I can't even taste the cookies because of the Java chips. What, what kind of cookies do we think are in there? Is this a little crushed Oreo, a little Mrs. Field action? I assumed Oreo. Yeah. But now I don't know what. I like the sugar part, but I didn't like the coffee grounds that are still in my mouth. I like stuff that's super bitter. Like mm. I like stuff like that. It's like oh, really intense. I like Vinegar. the flavor, but I don't like the coffee grounds in yeah. my mouth. Mm. The texture um. is a little bit like I'm finding sand after a beach sandwich. Mm. Which you know, we know you love. Which, Which you actually, actually did do, say you loved last I week. I do like that. Was that last week? Time is a fucking flat circle. Maybe it was in the Try Try Pod Pod. I don't remember. I don't remember, but yeah. Um, native plug. This is one of those uh, wind tunnel places right here. What's that mean? Where you like? It's like fake skydiving. Oh, oh no, it's not. It looks like a normal office. It says, "I'm a, our, yeah, but, our, but, look, but look at the, at the little logo in it." Yeah, so, yeah. Well. So you're looking. What you're looking at is Aramark, which makes all the food for the colleges. Oh, really? I think maybe I'm actually absolutely wrong. But you know what? Who cares? I do <laughs> love going to Universal City Walk and watching the people who do the the flying with the people. Who flies? What do you mean? They like they they're in this little they couple. Like tunnel. Zach is talking about, it kind of does look like this corner. Oh. And it's a big wind tunnel, and you fake skydive. But it's so funny because there's all these children, and their bodies are so limber they bend backwards like oh. big U's, <gasps> and they're flying in the air, and their limbs are all bent in ways that are Whoa. highly concerning. Oh my god! And it is funny. Plog at the wind tunnel. Yeah, but it's like really funny to watch, and sometimes like parents do it, and it's just. It looks uh, very uncomfortable. Yeah, geez. <laughs> but it also looks very fun. And the guys who are good at it, wow, the the teachers, yeah. they're doing stunts. They're doing tricks. Ooh. They're like flying. They're flying. Okay, I got they're another I, I got another idea. What's up? What's the hotel right there that we went to can a competition? The Hilton. Okay. No, it wasn't the Hilton. It was a different one. Hilton? The, the the one where I broke a glass. Anyway, it's got the elevator that's like outside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Plog <laughs> in the elevator until we get found out. It was by the way a thousand degrees in the elevator because it's an out. It was an outside facing elevator, so like the sun beats down on it mm. all day. But what do you think about just going to a hotel? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Getting in an elevator. Yeah, I like this. And we just keep yeah. going up and down, up and down, and we'd be like, "Oh, is this going? Uh oh, so we're going down. Oh, okay, we'll ride with you." No, that's a great idea, actually, Zach. It's an espionage, and honestly, we gotta pick a good building to do it in, like a building where we might see celebrities. You know, what I, I mean? didn't know that there. Oh, that's by the way a great idea. UTA the elevator. <laughs> Which se I'm just um ideas machine today. Which 7-Eleven will give me the most free chili? <laughs> Do they have? Do they chili? give free chili? <laughs> Is that a thing? Well, if they don't, then they lose. 
<laughs> Interesting. And Which then, one of these straws was mine? Oh, man, it really went south. I think it was this one, and it sunk. I do feel like we're venturing very far out of our comfort yeah, zone. Yeah, I don't I know. I can't believe this is the closest drive through Starbucks. We're in a new town almost. Mm-hmm. We're, we're just, we are. They, we're going to, I mean, well, I don't th- I think they're both in Burbank. We're not going to be close <laughs> to the bowling alley for our next episode. We got to make know, our way that, back. It's a good thing that it's a drive through because we can head back. <laughs> what if what if we don't make it in time? Oh, Zach, you simple fool! <laughs> we will make it in time. I do love bowling. Now, guys, what's something that's been sort of um, juicing you up lately? Juicing me up, giving you passion, giving you courage. For me, it was sort of my plant that I talked about oh. earlier. Um, I've been propagating and been making propagating. a pothos, and it's been sort of good. Mm, my avocado tree is doing well. I also got a recycling bin that's white and got a bunch of paint to paint the recycling bin, so I've been doing a crafty. Wait, you're painting your recycling bin? Mm-hmm. Why are you painting it? Um, So that it's like a little prettier. Oh, love that for you. <laughs> now, are you talking about the recycling bin that the that the city picks up, or are you talking about the one in your home? In my home. That makes more sense. Yeah. I've been painting the blue recycling bins on the street. <laughs> Purple. <laughs> I've been uh, painting them black. Some might call so them vandalism. Yeah, garbage so cans. Garbage so that they, they, well, we want, I want them to blend in with the other cans. <laughs> well, the um, what's been juicing me up is actually the the free time that I have now because I'm not memorizing uh, Juliet lines oh. anymore Hell yeah. from our amazing Romeo and Juliet live stream, which you can still get tickets to watch the VOD. In fact, we put in, uh, we took the file and added all the polls to it retroactively because we, we didn't realize when we shot it that the polls weren't going to be something you could watch in the playback, and we yeah. obviously know that's very important. So we have added them all in digitally, so now they were all up, and you can go watch it and get tickets. We knocked $5 off because you're no longer voting for what happens. You're just enjoying what happened. Cool. And let me tell you, what happened was cool. Now, Zach, you took funny. a big bong rip I saw. Yes. And how did that go for you? I was good. It's how I died. So uh, I didn't really have too many responsibilities after that. All That's I had great. to do is die. I got to say, you, the way you coughed it out was perfect. Yeah, it, it was, was like one of the best bong rip acting <laughs> That I've like ever oh, thank seen, you, thank not you. in a specific stoner movie. Like it was so perfect. I've been training all my life. Thank it you so felt, much. It felt like the way you coughed it, mm. three coughs out. It, it was just like wow, that was really great. And they shot it perfectly too. It yeah, was it just <laughs> there. There's some. I mean, we didn't get to watch it, right? We were in it and seeing some of the improvised but coordinated camera moves because um, we had this like a, a steady cam doing these like really cinematic push-ins. It, it was quite beautiful. Um, I I definitely broke character a lot, <laughs> I, and there was something about the adrenaline of doing it, like knowing it was live, where I feel like I was even more heightened and goofy than I ever was in rehearsal. Mm. And so I really commend Keith for being our anchor, which I think made it all the funnier. He took it so seriously. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and my Romeo definitely was uh, was a little a little kooky. Well, we had such great big characters happening with your Romeo and Eugene's nurse, and even like the nonsense of you know the sword fighting with dildos. And since none of my poles really could create that type of chaos, I was allowed to play her. Just I just thought me playing a fourteen year old girl as honestly as possible was, was the funny, funniest thing yeah. I could do. And um, I, well, my favorite comment that someone wrote was just that Keith is Michael Caine in the Muppets Christmas Carol. <laughs> 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 because I was never going, I was just being Juliet the whole time. Uh, but, but also made it so funny when those little moments of like the spaghetti kiss happened because the Lady in the Tramp spaghetti kiss we, was so funny with how earnest it was the first two times, but then how you just started ramming spaghetti into both of our faces. <laughs> And we were just sort of kissing through a wad of spaghetti. <laughs> so there's this one scene where uh, Keith and I are, are like, going to get wed. And the bit that we kind of came up with is that, like, we're so hopelessly horny for each other that, like, the, we're, like, coming closer and closer and closer. Uh, and then the, the fryer kind of pulls us apart. Well, we had rehearsed that a billion times. Mm-hmm. And we get, like, uh, up in each other's face and go. And, again, just the heat of the moment, the adrenaline, I, I guess I went in harder than I'd oh, ever done before. I was before. going in hard, too. My, my, my goal always in those things where someone has to stop you from kissing is to try to kiss that person. Yeah. Well, it wasn't my goal, but let me tell you. <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> and I just basically like sucked Keith's upper lip. Oh. <laughs> like I just, I, not even suck, I just went like, bleh, bleh, like I, bleh, bleh. Yeah. Oh. it was just a and, touch. It was a delicate little barely kiss. I'll tell you, for me, it was not delicate. It was a, uh, 
I, li I lipped his upper lip, and um, nice about it. it's um, yeah, that's all you think about now. I, I'll, I'll be like towards. laying my head down on my pillow, and I just think, I, <laughs> I think, oh. <laughs> um, I had a very funny, you know, forty-eight hours because we did this Romeo and Juliet live. Mm -hmm. uh, I and then I got on a plane and I met the Jonas Brothers. Oh my God! By the way, you did. Uh, oh, exactly. Maggie looks so happy in those photos. <laughs> she was like, "Oh, she is living, living life." It was such a goofy event. So my sister works for Live Nation, yeah. and her job is putting on like these marketing events and and uh, leveraging influencer marketing mm. for concerts to yeah. promote concerts. That's a big Brilliant part of her idea, job. By the way, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so she she <laughs> she texts me and goes like, "Hey." Jones Brothers are opening their tour, Yankee Stadium. They're going to be going all over the world. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to put you on the list and see if like you can get approved to come get flown out to go see a show? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. A, of a course. Yeah. Free trip to New York to see my boys? Yeah. Uh, and so we, the whole thing was so incredibly goofy because we got picked <laughs> up on a party bus. No way. And it was me and like 20 to 30 other influencers. What? Okay, any big names? What are we talking? Uh, Oh gonna, my god, they obviously promoted the event. I'm not gonna name names. I saw the stories you were posting, and they looked like a bunch of 21 year old girls that I didn't recognize. I will tell you that I was definitely 10 to 15 years older than everybody. There was Love like that. the shot where you're like selfie walking in, and every literally there's just a crowd of 30 people <laughs> selfie walking in. I was like, I don't know any of those people, but none of them look like Zach. Uh, <laughs> so Lauren Gray's pretty big on TikTok. She was there. Oh yeah. Um, uh, there were some people from Love Island. Oh uh, yeah, sure. super I, funny. I befriended Austin and Claudia, and actually, I, I, they kept telling me that they were they're from Love Island, Australia. They were staying in Times Square, and they're like, "Oh, we ate at Red Lobster. We ate at Papa's." No I'm like, way. "No, <laughs> no." So we took them uh, downtown to like Greenwich Village and showed them around on Sunday. Oh, that's but really nice. We we meet the Jonas Brothers, and we get there like. Super early. We're supposed to meet them at five thirty. Yeah, and just because we're at Yankee Stadium, there's some kerfuffle, and we're not allowed into the room where we're supposed to meet them because the Yankees team owns it, not the concert team, not the Jones team. So like, it's like, okay, we missed our window. Uh. But the team is like freaking out because they're like, we brought these people here to take a photo with the Jonas Brothers and meet them and hang out with them in yeah. a room so that they can, like, make their content and promote it. Like, that's why I was there. Yeah, right. My job mm -hmm. <laughs> was to... W2, baby. Was to, <laughs> to meet, meet the Jonas them. Brothers. Meet them. That's why I was there. Yeah. So time goes on, and it's like, it's like okay, well, we missed the 530, and it's like, no, 630, no, 730, 745. They're supposed to go on at 8. Oh my God. Uh. And we get brought backstage. They didn't end up going on until, like, 830, 845. Uh, Divas. <laughs> but it's now like 7.45. They're supposed to go on in 15 to 45 minutes. Yeah. We've done shows. The last thing that you want to do before <laughs> you... do you, not want to yeah. do meet and greets before, like that close to starting. No. Also, this wasn't supposed to be a meet and greet. This was supposed to be a meeting of peers. <laughs> right. And increasingly... <laughs> it's, okay, Zach. It's, you know, I, I mean, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm you a were, peer. It was your job. I'm a peer. <laughs> I'm a peer. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you the rest of the story... After this Starbucks. Oh right after this. Here End of go. summer sale. Hi, I'll be right with you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Zach, um, I'm wondering, it's the end of summer sale, it says, and they're yeah, selling right. cops. I'm wondering if we buy 40 to 50 of these I'm cups. wondering, I'm going <laughs> to definitely want to... Inside scalp them. I'm going to want to know about these cups. Hi, we're good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Oh, wait, wait. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yes. okay. Um, we, so we have a question for you. What we'd like to have you make for us is the most creative drink you can possibly think of. Something you've never made before. Ooh, that, like a cup of water? Yes. 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 The <laughs> dry <laughs> humor. Yes. If that's your choice, yes. What size do you Price is no <laughs> object. Whatever you want, the most creative, wild, wacky drink you can come up with. Amazing. Um, how many? One. But With we'd four like straws. four straws or four mechanisms to be drinking it if it's hot. Of course. You're going to do like one of those milkshake dates? Yes. Aww. Amazing. Anything else today? Can I have a black coffee? A black coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Just a small black coffee. <laughs> and then I have a question about the, cu the cups, the, yeah. the sale cups. What's going on there? Um, like all of our like reusable cups are currently thirty percent off. If you want to come into the store and check them out, thirty percent off of what? What <laughs> price? Um, it depends which cup you want. Like they're averaging between like fifteen to twenty-five dollars. 
Are there any like really really cool cups? Um, we have like a pink kind of. Here, I'll, I'll bring up the cool cups to the window, but we'll, cool we'll take five. Really fast yeah, bring some up. Thank you. Now. Yeah, I don't know if we'll get any, but I would like to see them. <laughs> of course. Thank you. I think that's it. We we have Moldovan treats if you'd like a cookie. Okay, we, we have some foreign cookies if you'd like to try one, but I don't want to be presumptuous. We'll see you at the window. Wait, so you want foreign cookies? No, no, no. no, no. We we no. have foreign cookies that we oh, bought, foreign. and they're from the country of Moldova, but I think they're actually made in New Jersey. And they're, they're odd, but they're not bad. Not bad? Oh. You're offering me a cookie? They're not great. I I don't think they're great. No, I think they're no. interesting and exciting. The cranberry other, flavor. We went to another Starbucks, and the person working their window did in fact enjoy them and thought that they would be pretty good with coffee. Oh, also they said hi to you. They, well, they said uh, they wished you well. They didn't want to say anything specific because I think they didn't want to get in trouble in a corporate sense. What Starbucks did you go to? It's across from the Chuck E. Cheese in um in Burbank. Oh. Oh, oh you, you guys, what do you think beef, about them? Yeah, tell us what's up with them, huh? They're they're great. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Okay, we'll we'll oh. let you serve the next customers. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. There's something happening there. She's Fucking like, was it that. freaking bezanine or whatever? She named somebody. Bezanine. I don't know. That's not um, name. I liked her vibe a lot, though. Yeah. I was I, worried about coming to a different location that it wasn't going to be as fun and cute and warm. Well, it yeah. wasn't. It was a different flavor. <laughs> it was a it was little a bit different. of a different vibe. It was sassy. It was, was sassy. For Whereas sure. Whereas our hometown Starbucks is sort of like <laughs> they know we, us. We've kind of domesticated our our <laughs> Starbucks. Domesticated. We've, that is we've, not the right word. We've trained <laughs> them over several there generations. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so you're thinking of dominated? Well, yeah, I guess. But I, I guess domesticated is some. I mean, similar. You know, the dog is like your sub. Let's go for a commercial break. <laughs> The dog <laughs> is like your sub. Well, are are you? Do you dominate the house? No. You don't. They don't listen to do what you tell them to do. You've seen how me and Bowie interact. Well, He's true. definitely. But he, don't he you wear, want? You tell him to sit though. You tell him to sit, and he does it right. Yeah. Does he tell you to sit? He does. He's your, oh. oh. We, we. Okay. Well then. He's your little sub. Shut Zach. my mouth. How about how about big fluffy dog? Oh, Birdie. Uh, yeah, I dominate him for real. Yeah. He doesn't always listen, but then sometimes I'm like, hey, Birdie. You want to go in the crate? And then he does what I say. He knows the word. He doesn't like the crate. Oh, he's misbehaving. I'll go, Bertie, it seems like someone wants to go to the crate. And then he'll <laughs> he'll move all around and he'll sit and he'll be like, okay, just kidding. Oh, I don't actually want to be bad. Ready. Where do they go? Get the Moldovas ready. I think they might be oh, the I've got the Moldovas. I was don't worried somebody worry. had stolen them. <laughs> I was like, how could they possibly have gotten lost? I got to find out what Moldova is up to. Yeah. All right, here we are at the drive. Wow, yeah, it's a bustling. Wow, I can Ooh. see the whole inside. Bustle and bustling. This is like, I feel like this is exclusive. They shut the doors. Oh, wow, look at these cups. Whoa. Wow. Those are excellent cups. I do love that mint cup. Do you want For the mint memory. cup? For a memory set? A key? Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, take take it. It. we'll take 10. Huh? No, thank you. Would you like a Moldovan treat? No pressure. Yeah, that's fair. that's fair. No, that's fair. I get it. It's like a coffee frap with, I think, one pump of white mocha, two pumps of dark caramel, uh, made of sweet cream, and then salted cold foam, and then wow. cookie wow. crumble on top. Wow. wow. Salted oh. cold foam. All right. Wow. <laughs> that sounds pretty zazzy. Sounds zazzy as hell. Thank you so much. Hi. You guys want a Moldovan treat? No, the coffee's fine. <laughs> no, Zach, the Zach, 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 Zach. <laughs> Miles has never been more <laughs> freaked out. Zach. Just reached out. Do you want to try Moldovan cookie? <laughs> okay. Okay. Grab the Nobody. cup. All right. Oh, well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, and then I need to pay for it. Oh, wow. Look at the cookie crumble on that. Salted. Maybe go bowling. But that's also a podcast. You want a cookie? See, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Let's go. <laughs> uh, everyone's enjoying a cookie. Yeah. There everybody's are four into the cookies. people that have crowded They're around. They're like cranberry gingerbread. They're from Moldova, which I don't know where that is it, on a map. I'm ignorant, and I apologize for my ignorance. Thank you. But it, they're not. Wow. This okay. cup is stunning. I know. Beautiful I, mint cup. I thought much? it'd be nice for the for the office. By the oh, way, yeah. in Canada, this would have been forty one ninety five. Interesting. 
Okay, Billy. perfect. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Why don't, you park right, why don't you park in Fish Grill? Fish Grill. <laughs> I'd like to just do a slow motion replay I'm that Miles was person. so hor- horrified by the suggestion of Moldovan cookies okay. that he <laughs> in it, involuntarily reached up, grabbed my shoulder to restrain me, because and like, whispered, please, no. <laughs> please. <laughs> because it was like, I felt like she, you had already had her a couple of times, and you're like, hey, the cook- you want a cookie? You want a cookie? <laughs> cook- do you want a cookie? <laughs> It was a different person he was asking each time. No, and honestly, I was wrong, I was in the wrong because four of the employees <laughs> yeah. at the end crowded and around, and she took one too. And she took one too. Let she me say for the record, Miles, too. I definitely was in the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this little milky cookie blast. All right, this one, by the way, guys, I think the the je ne sais quoi of the experience, even though it's not our hometown, um, mm-hmm. Starbucks. I felt like the Genesee Quad, the experience was really quite nice. Now is this just the grass is always greener, Now, ooh, this is a little bit more difficult to sort of get your straw into. It oh. does smell like pure Talenti syrup. Which is not, you mean, t- Talenti is the ice cream brand, What's right? Talenti? Oh, oh, sorry. What is it? Tor- Toronto or something? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Tarani. Tarani. Tarani? Trelawney? Professor Trelawney? Yeah, I'm sure. <gasps> oh, great Sri callback. Whoa, this Sri is um, bomb. Luxurious. Oh, mm. It's velvety smooth. I will say, what you're gonna want to do is get the top and the bottom. Oh shit! What's so great describe, about this describe, yeah. is going to be that it is a cloud. It is a coffee oh. cloud. And the sweet saltiness of the drink really comes forward. And I'll also say, make sure Keith that you don't just get the bottom because the bottom is melted. <laughs> it's just all like sugar. But the middle, <laughs> where it's still pulverized, frozen, is I would say really good. I think this is my favorite, and then this is going to be. We got to give it really? up to this one. Okay, well, it's got a it's a tall order. All right, because the other one sort of they added sand. That one is a hundred percent delicious, sugar, 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 and I just drank oh, this- about a baseball worth of milk. And but also fluffy. That's going to be a mistake. Fluffy and kind of light. <laughs> no, you're sort of. It's like the cloud. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, my stomach is going to have a hard time later, but that was a delicious bite. It was so good. And I, as I was like pulling the straw out to drink, I didn't realize how much I was filling my mouth with. Hey, take this cup. It was a lot of milk. Take this cup and just kind of rub your hands down. The it's tip. ribbed for your pleasure. Is That's... it sort of like a Hooters is a cup? <laughs> Try it. Just give it a nice like stroke down the... Give it a stroke good. down? Yeah, a little stroke Ooh, it does feel but good. But no, you got to really grip it. I'm, I'm gripping it. Okay. Um, Rainy, what are your thoughts on the drink? Oh, there's a there mint goes. angle. <laughs> there it goes. I don't get mint at all. Here, Zach, you got to try this. No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> Zach's a coward. He is going to, I mean, there's a lot of cream, I'll and say. And also, he doesn't want to have a, he doesn't want to shit himself, which I also respect. Zach, Zach is hey, right. Hey, baby, I want to just like. <laughs> <laughs> got to get, leave my shoulder alone. <laughs> I just want to let you know, it's okay if you don't have the drink. It, yeah, Zach would absolutely. Uh, be sick for two days from what I just did. I'm so I, I'll be sick for, and I'll have like p- bad poops in three hours, and then it'll be fine. Oh, my poops are gonna be fucking so regular. They will. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. don't have a problem with milk. I have a problem with acid. The drug. No, like <laughs> reflux. Oh. So you're fine with the drug. Sometimes milk will. Yeah. So Sometimes. Mi- so Miles is okay with drugs. <laughs> um. <laughs> Let's cut to the Miles theme song. <laughs> it's advice that'll go for miles. Tune it to your radio station. It's advice that'll go for miles. Everyone get ready. Miles Nation. Miles Nation, go. It's advice that'll go for miles. Advice that'll go for miles. What's up, Miles Nation? How's everybody doing tonight? Ow. Oh. I'm actually doing a little bit of smartness lately. My productivity is through the roof. Oh, wow. And the roof. The roof. The roof, the roof, the roof is, is on fire. fire. We don't need no water. Let, Let the that motherfucker, motherfucker burn. Burn, Woo. burn Woo. motherfucker. Woo. I'm telling you that you're a zero. You're nothing. You're ah. shite. You're shite. But you can be somebody if you just freaking do the dang thing. 
I have been revolutionizing the way that I've been doing my email lately. Ah. Uh. I said, ah. Yeah, honey, I'm paying a stupid amount of money for a month for a service that isn't worth it, but it's taught me a couple of special little things. Wait, 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 wait. I saw this in your email signature. You have like some sort of. I was embarrassed that it was in my email signature, <laughs> and now it is not because I realized that it was <laughs> adding that I was using this expensive, stupid product. I bought a. Well, no, I'm not going to talk about the product. What does it do? Like, what's I am hitting inbox zero. Wow. I am hitting fucking inbox zero. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, Miles, you read all your emails? No, bitch. Wait. I fucking archived all the emails that are no longer relevant to me. So I only have zero emails in my inbox. That's dangerous. That's I'm dangerous. not even... Well, you say it's dangerous, but guess what, Rainy? Here's how it freaking works. Okay. Essentially, I subscribe to this thing. It's called Superhuman. It is stupid expensive. I would not how recommend much? it at all. How much? $30 a month. Oh, I wow. think it's like $25 <laughs> a month. But I got it for one month because I was like, I got to fucking deal with this. It's going to be a fast way. It, like, essentially deals with hotkeys, so it's really easy to archive and respond to emails and whatever. Oh, and it, it got you with the key. It got or... me with the fucking cool little, like, fast thing. But now that I've used it, I'm like, oh, I know how I would do this on just regular Gmail. So I'm going to switch over next month. But essentially, it has this whole process where it's like, all right, you get an email, bing, top of your inbox. Now, if that you can mark that email as done, okay. which is essentially just putting it into the archive, mm -hmm. or you can mark that to like to remind you later in the day, oh. or you can just press enter and immediately respond to it. See, yeah, that is good because I find I need one hit of like, okay, the email came in, and now I'm processing that I've received an email, yeah. and then I actually want a second reminder of like, now you actually have to deal with it. Right. You learned it, now you got to so take action. Currently, if I look at my little inbox, er, mm -hmm. I have, um, I'm looking, <laughs> and I only have seven emails in my inbox and then it puts the other stuff that's like weird little like uh you know oh fucking newsletter from apple that hey I don't you have need. six points left to pizza hut you yeah get some breadsticks who gives a shit about that but then just by like an easy little tap swipe they're all going away so now i'm inbox zero and then wow. the ones that i actually need to reply to are all just like to do items yeah. in the thing so it makes it a lot easier to manage your email i was somebody that i mean i have a fucking million bajillion accounts and so putting them all in one place and being like, all right, great. If I reply to something, then it is marked done for me. And I can ask it to like remind me later if the person doesn't respond to follow up or oh, whatever. Nice. So I'm just trying to hit inbox zero. zero. So that's, I mean, sort of, I, I use, um, I sort my email by unread. Yeah. And I use unread emails or I will like. Send yeah, right. them back to me later as my to-do list. Mm -hmm. oh. So much so that I'll often like, if I have an idea in the middle of the night, or something I want to remember mm -hmm. to do, I email myself yeah. with that as the subject wow. line. I, I like that, and I was doing that for a while, but the problem was I would get, like, I didn't have a good system for, like, okay, I have an email, and I uh, it's, like, one that I don't really need to look at. It just needs to be done. Like, an well, email yeah, you from... Can, you can archive it, or just click it as read. Well, right, for sure. But I found that like stuff was just stuff just kept fucking like stacking up because I didn't have the system of archiving. Mm. And I don't like to if I look at like a wall of emails of fifty mm. emails, my mind just fucking goes blank. It I'm like, like Miles has been yelling about this. <laughs> well, but I actually have like got so loud, and I'm, I just like Keith, I'm I get it, and I'm passionate. I'm happy that you're so excited. But God, I get it. You have an email organizer, and I'm happy for you and. I need advice from the crowd about this related <laughs> issue. Yeah. I actually also weirdly went through my messages and re responded to all of them. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. Some people didn't respond back and now I'm feeling insecure. Wait, we're and talking about text messages? Mm -hmm. How and long were you holding on to all these messages that you From a year ago to? you responded? No, literally. Well, then why would they respond? Well, then, then, yeah, they, They're they, like, I'm done with this conversation. Like, I've why is she finished. responding to me about this thing from last March? Well, I, I did set the president, hey, so sorry, I'm just seeing this. I just went through all my messages. I'm just seeing this? I mean, you missed you text can't, messages from a year ago? You can't lie about six months ago. Well, I'm it just was unread. This. For real, it was it's, unread. Well, and that's so just, I had that's because you chose messages. not to read it. That is 140 unread m texts? That I, I, I'll never understand. I know that you're not alone, Rainey. I'll say that <laughs> but I've I had, yeah. It well, drives me crazy yeah. to see an unread message. Part of the emotional, part of the reason I don't respond is because I'm like, well, what if I respond and they don't respond? Well, happens. what are you, but who cares, right? Because you, then you will have done all that you can do. You can only control yourself, Rainey. You can't <laughs> react to how other people He's are. He's getting loud again. <laughs> 
<laughs> Gang, I want to tell you that I am <laughs> passionate about this. Miles loves communication. I love and organized it. communication. I love it because I would, I could be, I could be just like you. No, it's because I was just like you, Rainy. Where I didn't know how to whisper. I was just like you. I didn't know to respond to so many of my emails. I missed things, and now I don't because I'm fucking perfect. Gang, oh, yeah. I have huge freaking news. Oh my What's god! That? On Ventura Boulevard, there is Moldova University. Uh, oh shit! So join us next week when we're either gonna go bowling <laughs> or to Moldova University. <laughs> Which will we decide? What will we choose? It's up to you, the fans. Vote below. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Well, Keith, you all voted. <laughs> hit us, Keith. It is with the official Moldovan national anthem. <laughs> Moldova, Moldova, <laughs> country <laughs> of a million <laughs> arms, <laughs> the <laughs> hearts of which we love. The soldiers from above, the red. <laughs> And the green, <laughs> the white, and the gold. Pa, 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 pa. Moldova, Moldova, we love you so. Have a good ass week! Mm.